In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Evaluating Expressions Involving Sine or Cosine. We're given the value theta equals 5 pi 6 and asked to find the exact value for a, b, and c. And since we're looking for exact values here, I'll bring up the unit circle and label some of the special angles that give us those exact values. And starting with the positive x-axis, we know that we have special values at the multiples of pi fourths, highlighted here in blue. The multiples of pi fourths would be 1 pi fourths, 2 pi fourths, 3 pi fourths, and so on. And I'm intentionally not reducing these fractions here so that you can see the pattern. And then we also have the multiples of pi six highlighted here in green in the first two quadrants. And these being the multiples of pi six would start with one pi six, two pi six, three pi six, four pi six, five pi six, and so on. And before we start finding these exact values, I'm going to focus on this first quadrant and also show the values for the coordinates along the unit circle. So at zero radians, our x coordinate or cosine would be one. Our y coordinate would be zero. Again, the unit circle is centered at zero, zero. And then we also have a pattern here. So one, we can think of as the square root of four over two. So moving around the circle, square root of four over two, next would be the square root of three over two, then the square root of two over two, before the square root of one over two, which is just one half, and then the square root of zero over two is zero. And then moving in the opposite direction for the sine, we start with the square root of zero over two, and then have the square root of one over two, the square root of two over two, the square root of three over two, and the square root of four over two, which is again one. And any time I'm looking for exact values, I like to list out this first quadrant because from here I feel like I can get any of the others that I'm looking for. And now that we have this sketched out, I'll start with A, which is the cosine of negative theta. So that will be the cosine of, since our theta is five pi six, this would be negative five pi six. And to get this exact value, since it's a negative, I'm going to be moving this way around the unit circle. It's written as six. So I know that I will be focusing on these multiples of negative pi six, the first one being negative one pi six, then negative two pi six, negative three pi six, negative four pi six, and negative five pi six. So we have identified the angle. This is our negative five pi six. And to find the cosine, we need to locate the x value at this point on the unit circle. And from here, I know that the x value or cosine is going to be this x value, which will be the opposite sign of this x value. And since this has a cosine, x value of square root of three over two, this would be a negative square root of three over two. And since I only need the cosine, I'll go ahead and write that as the exact value for the cosine of negative five pi six. And then I'll turn my attention to B. B is the cosine of two times theta. So we need two times that five pi six, which would give us a 10 pi six. And again, I left it as six because that's gonna help me do the counting to figure out which angle this is. I still have in quadrant one, written here in green, my pi six, two pi six, three pi six. I'll keep labeling those. This is four pi six, five pi six, six pi six, and so on until we get to 10 pi 
6. So we've identified that angle. This time we're going in the positive direction. But again, I'm going to use the symmetry with the first quadrant and the ones that I already have labeled here. I can see that this aligns in the first quadrant with 2 pi 6. And since I'm looking for the cosine or x value at this point, I know that this is shifted from the origin the same amount for this location as for this location. They're both the same distance to the right of the origin. The x value here will be the same as the x value here which is 1 half. So the cosine of 10 pi 6 is 1 half. Lastly, I'll move to C. C is the cosine squared of theta. And again, theta is 5 pi 6. And since it's the cosine squared, you can think of this as just the cosine of 5 pi 6 being squared. We already have 5 pi 6 labeled here. It's one of our multiples of pi 6. And again, we're going to need the cosine value to find the cosine squared. So the question is, what's the x coordinate here? We can tell that it's going to be negative because it's to the left of the origin. And it's the same distance to the left as this value, this x value is square root of 3 over 2. So here we would be negative square root of 3 over 2. The same distance, just in the opposite direction. But this is the cosine value. And since we're looking for the cosine squared, we would want to square the negative square root of 3 over 2. Squaring the negative would become positive. Squaring the square root of 3 would give us 3. And then squaring the 2 would be 4. So our cosine squared value is 3 fourths. And we were able to find all of these by knowing and being able to generate this first quadrant and then just mapping anything that's not in the first quadrant.